Hi guys. For the next five minutes, it is still a somewhat pleasant day here in the end times in paradise in West Bumblefuck, New Mexico, here on uh, Tuesday, June 13th, 2017. So, uh, but before I get into this Bigfoot challenge update, I just want to send out a big thank you to uh, tribes member Bjorn Nordstrom. Uh, I guess Bjorn, is that how, is the, how you pronounce your name, brother? I do appreciate it. So with Bjorn's donation, we are now, Sancho Panza and I, are 90% of the way. 90% of the way uh, in our GoFundMe campaign to raise $1,500 uh, for the Bigfoot Challenge starting in about six weeks. And uh, so I'm just sending out an invitation if anybody wants to uh, help us meet the Bigfoot Challenge. We're $150 shy. Uh, and I need to get out there and start making my plans. Uh, for my Bigfoot challenge and I'm shopping for cameras. If, if anybody has a decent uh, digital camera with a nice telephoto lens that they would like to sell for cheap, uh, I am in the market. I'm in the market for those, uh, those little cameras, those little trail cams, you know, you put on tree trunks to catch animals walking around in the middle of the night. I'm throwing out a, uh, throwing that out. So if anyone in the tribe uh, can participate by giving me a good buy on something like that, uh, I'd be very interested in talking to you. So anyway, uh, I've been, you know, trying to get ready for the Bigfoot Challenge and to, uh, and to become a Bigfoot researcher myself. And I'm just trying, so I've been spending more time than I want to admit watching these, uh, these goddamn Bigfoot YouTubes on, uh, out there. And, and, and good God, there's thousands, there's probably millions of Bigfoot YouTubes. Uh, I don't know how many, there's probably a hundred different channels of this and, and I'm embarrassed to admit uh, that I would say, my guess is if, if I've watched 100 Bigfoot videos, 99% of them are unadulterated horse shit. It's, it's like half the half these fuckers are sh are are just absolute charlatans uh you know i don't know if they're just trying to get clickbait you know I anyone who's got a bigfoot channel who monetizes their channel it's, it's obvious what they're in it for uh so are, are are these people looking for clickbait are are, are they just having fun uh, just seeing how many clueless fucking morons uh, they, they can find to, to actually swallow uh, their horse shit? Or, and this is, I actually think, guys, that the majority of these people calling themselves Bigfoot researchers Uh, on YouTube, I, I, I just think they're, they're fucking whack jobs. I think they honestly believe they're bullshit. Uh, but, it, but it's a combination. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I'm not going to name any names. Uh, just go on to YouTube and, uh, you know, try to find s some fucking intelligent uh, commentary uh, about YouTube. And especially try to find a decent video. Uh, you know, the more 
uh, the more and more of this unadulterated horseshit that I watch on YouTube, the more I become convinced that Bigfoot does not exist. Uh, you know, I was completely on the Bigfoot fence starting the starting this out. Uh, but but after watching these goddamn morons with with all of their goddamn tree structures and uh, and, and I put one on about Bigfoot singing a song, uh, these goddamn vocalizations uh, th that are a bunch of goddamn hoaxers out there going. <laughs> And, and, and people swallowing this shit. I was watching one, uh, again, I'm not going to give any names. This one, this came out a couple days ago. Uh, this, this guy, uh, you, you hear something whistling in the background. Don't we hear something? Hear that? Hear that? You hear that, Sancho? That's a Sasquatch. That's a Sasquatch whistling. That's a Sasquatch. Can you hear it? A Sasquatch whistling. Listen to that. Can you hear that? That's a Sasquatch talking. So anyway, so this thing whistling, it, it sounded a hell of a lot like a bird to me. Uh, but if it wasn't a bird, it was probably the guy's buddy uh, up in the woods. And, and, and the guy on the thing, he had his dog with him. Not only did he claim that Sasquatch was whistling. Shh, shh, did you hear it? It's a Sasquatch. Get it, Sancho, it's a Sasquatch. Where's the Sasquatch? Where's the Sasquatch, Sancho? Get the Sasquatch. So anyway, he claimed the, uh, the Bigfoot was whistling for his dog. That's Sasquatch. That's Sasquatch whistling. Do you hear that? Sancho, go get Sasquatch. Go get Sasquatch. Where's Sasquatch? Where's Sasquatch? Do you hear Sasquatch whistling? Go get Sasquatch. Go get Sasquatch. Go get Sasquatch. Where's Sasquatch? Go get him. He's whistling for you, Sancho. That's Sasquatch whistling for you. And uh, so then I guess there was a video where uh, another one I was enjoying where Bigfoot was drawing a map. Was drawing a map. You know, whenever these clueless fucking morons, they, they find a bunch of sticks lying on the ground. I don't know. Looks kind of like, like this. This is Sasquatch drawing a map. Sasquatch drawing a map. I, I loved it. Uh, in the video of the, uh, of the Sasquatch map video, you can hear this woman uh, in, in the background. You don't see her. This woman in the background look, looking at these sticks laying on the ground, and she says, it looks like Bigfoot's cock to me. You can tell where this woman's brain is at. Looks like Bigfoot's cock to me. And uh, what, what was the other one? Oh yeah, Spe speaking of, of hunting Sasquatch with dogs, there's, 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 this, there's this one of these Bigfoot myths out there is about uh, Bigfoot pushing over trees. That Bigfoot just for some reason just likes to push over trees. So this guy, he's out there with his pit bull and uh, and Bigfoot, while he's filming in broad daylight, this tree comes crashing down in front of him. And, and the dog, the pit bull, when the tree, it's about a, I'd say about a 30 foot tall tree about this big around. So the tree, the 30 foot tree falls and the, and the pit bull runs up and starts sniffing around the, the top of the tree, the branches in the top of the tree, probably looking for squirrels or whatever. Is he squirrelies? Is that a squirrelie? 
Or is that Squirrely or is that Bigfoot? Squirrely or Bigfoot? And uh, so anyway, so the, the dog is sniffing around here and it's not till he gets, and you hear this all the time, it's not until they get home and look at their video footage that they see the Sasquatch. So this is a broad daylight with a camera, with a dog. After he gets home, he sees 30 feet away, although you can't see it in his video, 30 feet at the base of a tree, an 8 foot tall, 600 pound, hair covered, wild man pushing, you know, sitting there like this, like a fucking pit bull. A pit bull is going to be 30 feet away from a Bigfoot in broad daylight and Bigfoot is going to push a tree over and a pit bull is not going to see Bigfoot 30 feet away. I could go on and on and on with this. Uh, so anyway, I finally, again, I'm not going to name any names, I found this certain group who shall remain nameless. Uh, I guess this is a whole organized group of Bigfoot researchers. And so they actually offer Bigfoot hunts that you can go join a Bigfoot hunt. There you go! With a real live Bigfoot researcher. Now they, they, they do admit in a little caveat that not one of their hunts has ever actually produced a sighting of a Bigfoot. They've never, in any one of these hunts, uh, actually seen a Bigfoot. But, you know, it's, it's, it's as embarrassing as that is, they still have no problem charging $125 uh, per day. That you can actually, for $125 a day, Bigfoot whistling. That's Bigfoot talking. And that's the Sasquatch whistling. He's calling Sancho. That's Sasquatch calling Sancho. No, don't you go. Don't you go. That Sasquatch trying to call you and eat you. Jesus, little dog, what are you thinking? A anyway, what was I talking about? So anyway, so they're... They're charging $125 a day to join uh, these Bigfoot researchers who have never seen a Bigfoot uh, out there in the woods. And, and I'm thinking to myself, God damn, $125 a day, and they're, and, and, and they're inviting like 8 to 10 people. Uh, you know, to pony up 125 bucks a day. So I'm thinking, so anyway, I'm throwing it out there, guys. This is the, the ham bone deal of a lifetime. I am inviting anybody out there listening to this who wants to come join a Bigfoot hunt to join me on my Bigfoot hunt. And I will only, for $50, for $50 a day, you can join ham bone little tail and Sancho Panza on a Bigfoot hunt. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to be up there in Northern California. I think I'm going to be basing myself uh, in a, outside of a little town called Happy Camp. Happy Camp, California. I can't promise this. I'm going to be somewhere, I don't know, east of Eureka in Crescent City, California and west of Mount Shasta. So somewhere between I-5 and the Pacific Ocean uh, in extreme northern California. I'm almost certainly going to be in the Klamath National Forest. And you understand uh, this hundred and twenty-five dollars, you still have to bring all your own food, all your own liquor, blah blah blah. Uh, 
Well, you would have to do that uh, with me too, I guess. Uh, but hell, I'll make the coffee in the morning. Uh, I'll make the beanie weenies at night. I'll pitch your damn tent for you. Uh, for 50 bucks. Let's see, so all I ask is if you don't have your own car to come find me, you just need to get to either Redding, California, or Crescent City. And I might say Eureka. So if you can make it to Redding or Eureka, okay, uh, for $100. I will drive out in my gas sucking truck. I will pick you up at the probably the Greyhound bus station, and uh, this is the round trip. I will pick you up in Reading or Eureka, and at the end of your stay, I will take you back for a, a one hundred dollars for the round trip, and you can stay as many days as you want um, for fifty dollars a day. There you go. This is Hambone's uh, Bigfoot Adventures. Now, you better take me up on it this year because next year my prices are going to double when I, when I am an experienced Bigfoot researcher. I'm going to have 30 days on the ground being a Bigfoot researcher. So I'm going to know a shh. Bigfoot whistling. Bigfoot whistling. He's probably over there drawing a map that looks like his cock. Uh, anyway, because next year uh, I'm, I'm going to be charging $100 a day for the same service. Uh, so get in on the ground floor of Hambone's Bigfoot Adventures and come join me this year. Uh, just... Uh, let me know if you want to join Hambone on his Bigfoot hunt. 50 bucks a day, I'm all yours. Anyway, the sun is creeping on and it sounds like, good God, there must be three or four Sasquatches in the bushes here in West Bumblefuck uh, trying to whistle my little dog over to eat my little dog. So I need to get Sancho Panza to safety. You know where to find me. And if you can't join me, come on guys, we're $150 shy. We're 90% of the way to the Humpty Dumpty Tribe of Bigfoot Challenge. Come on. Bye guys. I'm not letting you go. There, there's a goddamn Bigfoot in, in that bush whistling for you.